you're obviously a proponent of, of supplements, um, yet there were some opinions that got quite a bit of traction in the media in the last six months or so um, by medical professions that said, you know what, supplements, you're just wasting your money, you're just turning your pee yellow. Why do we seem to go back and forth on on whether or not those are beneficial in terms of mainstream? We don't go media. back and forth on whether they're beneficial. It's academic that they're beneficial. It's unarguable. It's not, it's not, it's not arguable. Mm -hmm. The research that makes its way into the public domain, into the public press, is bad research. Now, every single time those articles came out, we did blogs that mm -hmm. countered and that took the research apart and that showed people why it was faulty and bad research and why the conclusions were ridiculous. But because most people don't even have, you know, a limited high school education, they're not able to understand these intellectual uh, specifics. And, you know, we trust what we read. We trust what the MDs say, and it's a problem. So from an academic point of view, it was bad research, um, just like the... Uh, the Mediterranean diet research was bad research. It was faulty. It had built-in biases that, um, in, in this case, I think that guy was aware of. But whether he was aware of or not, it was just bad science. So all of the stuff that you see slamming the effectiveness of medical nutrition is bad science, right? I mean, we sued, Do well, you didn't sue. Dr. Wallach sued the Food and Drug Administration on two separate occasions. Once was so that we can say selenium supplementation uh, reduces the occurrence of breast cancer to, by 82% lung cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer as well to remarkable degrees. Why? Because the research had been done that proved that to be true. He also sued the Food and Drug Administration so that we can say that essential fatty acid supplementation eliminates the risk of thrombotic stroke. Why? Because there's mountains of research to support that. Mountains of research. So, you know, one guy with one faulty research article comes along and slams vitamins and, you know, he should be, have his medical license stripped. He should be sent to a deserted island inhabited by rabid dogs because it's just bad science and it's not meant to forward the conversation of scientific medical nutrition and its impact on human health. It's meant to forward an agenda by the pharmaceutical industry to keep you in the dark. It's bad, it's wrong, and quite frankly, you know, legal repercussions should be taken.